Hello, I'm Julio. Hi, I'm Andrew. Hi, I'm Kylie, and we'll be discussing the ketogenic diet. So our topic is the keto diet, if it's actually beneficial for long-term health rather than just losing weight. Uh, the keto diet was created in 1923 by Dr. Russell Wilder. The, uh, the original purpose of this eating strategy was to be used as treatment for epilepsy. Dr. Wilder wanted to reduce epilepsy seizures in children. Um, the keto diet include, uh, um, includes a very low carb and high rich protein and fat diet. People have to eat around 50 grams of uh, carbs or less per day, which is about three slices of bread. By eating more fat and less carbs, the body will reach ketosis within three to four days. Ketosis happens when the body is deprived of carbohydrates and the body will end up using store fat for energy instead. instead. Um, keto diet became a popular diet for its accelerated weight uh, loss weight. However, this diet is a very short-term effect and, and it comes with very risky, uh, risky side effects. Uh, the keto diet, that's why it's considered a controversial diet because it may, you may lose weight but at a very fast, at a very fast pace. And by doing so, you are at risk of damaging your body for a long t for the long term. Um, Keto diet became a very popular diet because of the popular media, such as celebrities or models that promote, promote the keto diet because they say they lost weight in a, fast, in a fast pace, what most people want. And they're able to share it in social media, such as Instagram or Facebook, and, and show their process of how they lost the weight. And here we go. Short term effects, it promotes rapid weight loss and produces metabolic changes. These include insulin resistance, elevated cholesterol, high blood pressure, and may even be the resolution for type 2 diabetes. However, your body does undergo hypoglycemia, which is low blood sugar. So, as far as keeping health concerns under control, a more specific keto diet may alleviate those issues. But when it comes to promoting weight loss in general, it is pr it's probably not the best choice. The results are the keto food, for example, which is uh, no sugar left to burn. And according to Dr. Crowley at Deakin University in Australia, he states many individuals experience dehydration, nausea, fatigue, vitamin deficiencies, and gastrointestinal symptoms. They may experience diarrhea or a ketoacidosis, which is due to a prolonged stage of ketosis which uh, raises your blood uric acid levels. And this can be very dangerous because it damages the liver, kidney, and the brain as well. Okay. Well, there's not much research about the long-term effects of the ketogenic diet. There are certain cases in which it has been shown to be an effective method of long-term weight loss. For example, in obese patients, um, one study showed that after 24 weeks on the keto diet, these patients had a significant reduction in BMI, weight, and bad cholesterol, and a significant increase in the good cholesterol. It has also been helpful in treating epilepsy, seizures, and even contains cancer-fighting agents. In most cases, however, there are no long-term benefits for the regular populations. Go. According to Dr. Williams, one of the nation's leading cardiologists, the keto diet can lead to more cardiovascular events, which can increase mortality rates by approximately 31%. He states that the ketogenic diets should not be done unless people believe that the benefits from short-term weight loss are more important than their overall health. Another doctor, Mary, uh, Dr. Mary Condon, recommends that before beginning this diet, one should be well educated on heart healthy sources of fat because many people consume excessive amounts of saturated fats on this diet, which can increase the risk of heart disease. Mm -hmm. She also explains that some risk with the keto diet um, can cause low pressure, kidney stones, constipation, and nutrient deficiencies. Additionally, this diet is unsafe for people with conditions of the pancreas, liver, thyroid, or the gallbladder. It has been said that this may be bad for overall health because the keto diet 
uh, restricts fresh fruit and vegetables, whole grains, and low-fat dairy that can help with long-term weight loss and overall health. In our textbook and in class, we learned that the daily caloric intake should be 45 to 65% carbohydrates, which contradicts this, uh, this keto diet, which states that we should be eating low-carb diets. In conclusion, the keto diet can be effective toward certain patients that have health concerns, such as obese people or with children with epilepsy. But when it comes to using keto diet as a form of losing weight, it is not the best strategy, as there are many side effects to both short-term or long-term. Um, the keto diet is a strategy to rapidly lose weight, but the diet is, in itself is not well maintainable, that the weight that you lost can be easily gained if you stop doing the keto diet. So overall, there are many diet plans that are more balanced and more healthier, and it can, keep the it can be done with the same results, but instead it will, it will be a long-term and a healthier life. And here are our references, and thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.